So the latest development of the changed Labour Party has seen four councillors suspended, including Jewish councillor Martin Abrams, for voting for a ceasefire motion. Yeah, you heard that right. Labour, who now supposedly support a ceasefire, has suspended councillors for supporting a ceasefire. And of course, it's significant that one of them is Jewish because, as I continually try to point out, Labour has an anti-Semitism problem, which the media ignore. Now, this is part of the statement from Martin Abrams. On Monday night, I was suspended indefinitely from the Lambeth Labour Group for breaking the whip after I voted for a motion that called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza at January's Lambeth Full Council meeting. As someone with a small platform and a councillor with a very diverse ward with sizable Muslim and Jewish communities, I've been consistent in condemning the horrific attacks by Hamas on the 7th of October. But it also have been clear that one crime does not justify another, and I believe in Gaza we are witnessing one of the greatest crimes of our age. First and foremost, I've listened and the vast majority of people I've spoken to want an immediate end to the violence and that is reflective of the country and Labour Party membership with the latest polls showing 66% of voters wanting an immediate ceasefire and 89% of Labour Party voters. My vote for the ceasefire motion was a matter of conscience for me. My great-grandparents were persecuted and driven from Eastern Europe over 100 years ago in the pogroms of Kiev and came to this country as refugees with nothing, leaving and losing many close family in the process. It is exactly this history of persecution of my close ancestors in Europe over the ages that meant I was brought up to always stand with the oppressed against oppression. And when I say never again, I mean never again for everybody. So it's good to know that Labour suspended indefinitely a Jewish man whose family has faced persecution because he's standing up against persecution of Palestinians. So there was a Lambeth Council meeting on the 24th of January where a Green Party motion for a ceasefire was tabled. Sonia Winifred, Deepak Sadiwal and of course Martin Abrams voted for the motion whilst Serena da Silva abstained. First, I think it's absolutely nuts that they were whipped to vote against. But I think it's further proof that Labour cares more about the party than the country because this was from this was a motion from another opposition party. Now, does that sound familiar? Because that's exactly what happened in Parliament. Starmer was going to whip his MPs to vote against the SNP's ceasefire motion before he was saved by Hoyle. For Labour, it's a watered-down version of a ceasefire or nothing. Isn't one of the main tenets of our political system collaboration? I mean, that's the reason we have a Parliament, right? To stop a full majoritarian rule. Obviously not for Starmer because he is an authoritarian. This is anti-Semitic because you have a so-called changed Labour Party forcing their Jewish members to vote a certain way. The party doesn't tolerate anti-Zionist Jews, which, as I've pointed out time and time again, Labour under Starmer has suspended and expelled more Jews than any other leader. It's why I can confidently say that Labour is far more anti-Semitic than it was under Jeremy Corbyn. Of course, it existed under his leadership, but I truly believe Corbyn was sincere in trying to deal with it. And of course, factional wars got in the way. You know the story. Now, I can hear some people say, well, they were suspended for voting with the Green Party and they are a rival party. That's why. Well, there's nothing in the rules stopping a Labour councillor voting with another party. That's often how things get done. In fact, surely Starmer wouldn't care since there have been uh, local councils who have teamed up with Tories instead of working with smaller left parties. Isn't that the literal definition of a Tory enabler? Of course, there's a difference. Keir Starmer doesn't mind at all if Labour councils prop up the Tories. He doesn't mind if Labour vote with the Tories. He doesn't mind that Christian Wakeford crossed the floor to the Labour Party, despite calling Labour a bunch of see you next Tuesdays just months before. But when it's to his left, oh, that's out of bounds. That's beyond the pale. And specifically with this issue, well, Labour will not stand up to the crimes of Israel. Now, because this meeting took place on the 24th of January, which is just over a month ago, and I believe that was before Starmer clearly came out and said that Labour supports a ceasefire, I can again hear Starmerites use this as an excuse because, well, Martin Abrams voted against the party's line at the time. And first I would say, well, that's a very anti-democratic move, which is obviously in Starmer's leadership style. But secondly, Labour has, at least in rhetoric, changed their position. So why go ahead with the expulsions? Just think about the optics here. Labour suspends Jewish councillor for opposing genocide. It's unconscionable. Now, those on the Labour left are rightly furious. A Momentum spokesperson said, this is an outrageous attack on a Jewish councillor for having the temerity to stand up for the people of Gaza. Martin is a principled socialist and internationalist. It is shocking that he has been forced out for standing up for a position endorsed by the majority of voters. 
this anti-democratic decision should be immediately reversed. He's a socialist, so he won't be treated fairly. But also, what are you going to do? I mean, look, I have great respect for momentum in what they did in the Corbyn years. They managed to slightly turn a top-down undemocratic party into a grassroots one. But today, I'm not sure what they'll do, what they can do. I mean, what leverage do they have? Leftists have been smashed consistently and there's just been no defence. I think it's very clear that remaining inside the Labour Party has zero merit. They can't rely on the media to fairly cover this or to point out the hypocrisy of Labour's anti-Semitism problem. So what is there to be done? I mean, I don't have many ideas either, apart from not voting Labour because they don't deserve your vote. But I personally would like to see Martin and others join the Green Party. And I think under their banner, they have a chance of re-election. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and drop a comment. It's good for the algorithm and I'm interested in what you have to say. If you're not already subscribed, please do and hit the notification bell. You can also support this channel by becoming a member for 99p per month. And if you're feeling a little more generous, then you can support us on Patreon for three or five pounds per month. This channel for a while has been uploading every single day and it's quite a lot of work that is still voluntary and scheduled around my paid work. But I have so much ambition, expect in the future to see more variety in content, such as interviews and vox pops. But I want this to be a fully fledged media organization where not only is this my full time job, but to have multiple people working for Turn Left. I like to see a live show in the future, more content that delves into culture, history, and much more. But that can only be done if there's money. So please, if you can, support us in any way that's in your capacity. And thank you to existing members, subscribers, and patrons. See you next time.